Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for deciding to click on the video, stick around, and be a part of the Time with April family. And if you want to do the same, then go ahead and hit that subscriber button. And don't forget the notification bell, and that's just going to notify you every time I upload a video. So today I'm going to give you a 2.0 version of some mashed potatoes and I do have a video on my channel from earlier on and it's very simple. You can definitely check that out. But today I'm going to show you how to add a lot more flavor and I'm going to give you a delicious gravy to go along with it. So if you want to see what I mean and how I make them then just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with between 2 and 3 pounds of russet potatoes. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of unsalted butter and a fourth of a cup of whole milk. So this time around I'm going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of sour cream. And I'm going to season it up with 1 and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, sea salt, and black pepper. To make the gravy I'm going to use one stick of unsalted butter and a half a cup of flour. And I'm going to add 2 cups of water, 1 cup of whole milk, and I'm going to flavor the gravy with 2-3 to three chicken bouillon cubes, sea salt, and black pepper. Okay, so I went ahead and peeled and chopped up all of my potatoes and I'm just going to go ahead and add them into a pot of cold water and over medium high heat I'm just going to allow them to boil until they're nice and tender. So while my potatoes are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my gravy. So over medium heat in a separate pan, I'm just going to go ahead and melt my stick of butter. So I'm ready to add the flour into the melted butter and this is what's going to create thickness for the gravy. It's called a roux and I did it previously in the mac and cheese video actually. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue to whisk it until the flour is completely combined with the butter. Now that the butter and flour is completely mixed together, I'm ready to add my milk and my two cups of water. Now I'm ready to add my chicken bouillon cubes. I would suggest start with two and if you need the third one then go ahead and add that one in. And continue to stir stir stir. The cubes will eventually dissolve into the gravy. As the gravy comes up to a boil, I will continue to whisk so that I won't have any lumps and as you can see it's thick and nice and smooth. So the gravy is pretty much done so I'm back with the potatoes and I'm going to grab a fork and as you can see they're getting nice and soft and tender. So the potatoes are all done and I'm going to take them off the stove and take them over to the sink to drain them. Now that I drained the water out the potatoes, I'm just going to put them back into the pot that I cooked them in. Now while the potatoes are hot, I'm ready to add the butter along with the Parmesan cheese. Now adding more flavor, I'm going to add the garlic powder along with the sour cream. And just a little bit of milk. Now I'm just going to grab my potato masher and just mash everything together and it's so important to add all those ingredients while the potatoes are hot so it can absorb all those amazing flavors. And now to make sure that my potatoes are nice and creamy and smooth, I'm going to grab my mixer and mix everything together. At this point you want to taste your potatoes just to see if it needs a little bit more salt and I did and I just gave it a couple of sprinkles. And I'm just going to give it another big stir and we're pretty much done. These potatoes are amazing. If you love mashed potatoes, you will definitely love this recipe. As you can see, the potatoes are creamy and smooth. And of course, don't you forget to top it off with that delicious gravy. And of course, this is optional. I'm just going to sprinkle some black pepper and some fresh parsley. And there you have it. 2.0 creamy mashed potatoes and gravy. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share this video with everybody you know, and if you give this recipe a try, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Before you leave, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see another video, then go ahead and click that box you see on the screen. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all, and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye-bye.